A young boy is having his vision restored today. He suffers from a disease that's becoming more common. KCAL9's Cara Finstrom shows us the boy's family is celebrating the surgery. We're going to get you yawned and ready for the procedure to get started. 12-year-old Jake Anstead is here to get what his mother simply calls a miraculous gift. Jake has a degenerative eye disease called keratoconus and is nearly blind. The Ansteds had been told his only hope of seeing again was a painful cornea transplant. Now the lights are going to dance around a little bit. But today, Dr. Brian Boxer Walkler is instead performing a procedure he pioneered that uses strengthening eye drops and UV lights. I knew there had to be a better way, and that's why I invented the Holcomb C3R procedure, which is non-invasive. It has a one-day recovery. Jake's mom says the only reason she discovered the procedure was because during the Winter Olympics, gold medalist Stephen Holcomb spoke out about his battle with keratoconus. It so badly damaged the bobsledder's eyes, he stopped competing until getting this surgery. Jake's game is basketball. Mom says he kept playing on a club team with no vision in one eye and the other seeing double and halos of light. He would have balls come to him and he would actually grab at them and miss it. And I apologized to him, excuse me, because um, I used to get mad at him. Now I know why. Doctors and other you know, eye surgeons around the, around the country are just suggesting wait until your eyes go blind and then get a cornea transplant. We showed you that card yesterday. Today, just about an hour after Jake's procedure started, he sat up and looked at the world in a whole new light. Seven, eight, two, six. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. I can now like recognize my own mom. I could read stuff on the wall that I wasn't able to see. His parents say they will now work to help educate families about getting regular eye exams and the still little known surgery that gave their son back his sight. So what does it say? What does it say? In Beverly Hills, Cara Finstrom, KCAL 9 News.